And we are joined now by a woman who is just gorgeous inside and out. Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray. Thank you for being Hi, here. Thank you. You know, congratulations first and foremost. Thank but you. I thought this was so interesting. Your mom, when you were 13, had a dream mm -hmm. that you would win Miss Universe in a red dress. She did. And you did that last night. <laughs> or not last night, but when you did win. Yeah, and you know, when I was 13 and she first told me, like, I thought nothing of it. You know, I was young. I didn't really have that interest in pageants yet. But to see it come into fruition was just like, Mom, how, are you hiding anything else right? about my future? I want to know. Right. Get in there. Get in there. Um, talk about vision boards working. Right? Uh, but let's talk about something that you're passionate about, mm -hmm. and that is children's education. Yes, I'm so passionate about helping children in impoverished areas. And in the Philippines, I work with an organization called Young Focus. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they give access to quality education, which without um, NGOs like that, those kids might never realize the dream of having an education and developing a love for learning. What did I tell you? Inside mm -hmm. and out, gorgeous you are. And <laughs> I have to you. say, you also have a voice. You, so thank you. Will we will we hear you on a stage once I you're hope, done with all the Miss Universe? I hope so. Even as a Miss Universe, I would love to participate in a benefit concert mm -hmm. or something like that to really merge my love for music and in giving back. I think that would be amazing. Well, obviously you're perfect, and that's why you <laughs> won Miss Universe. Thank you so much, Catriona. Thank Congratulations you. again. Last month, millions watched as she was crowned the 67th Miss Universe in Bangkok, Thailand. Please welcome the newly crowned Miss Universe, Catriona Gray. <laughs> all week. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do for your birthday? I saw Broadway. I had a bit of a food trip. I went to fun. Hillsong. Yeah, it was amazing. That's an, and you grew up in Australia, I understand. Yes, I So did. when did you uh, move to the Philippines? Or are you from, your mom is? Yes, my mom is a Filipina. My dad is a Scottish immigrant to Australia. I see. Wow. So I was born and raised in Australia, then I moved to the Philippines as a teenager. Wow. Yeah. And you moved since here to New York, right? Yes, I am four days fresh. Oh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, what do you think about winter? Well, <laughs> do you have a coat? I'm very concerned right now for your warm glow. I have a coat, and I've been going out in like at least a minimal of three layers. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so I'm looking a bit like a show pal when I go out, or I'm really fluffy looking. But as long as I'm warm, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> You're enjoying the change yeah. of climate because it's warm. I love it. You know, I grew up in a one climate kind of setting. So in the Philippines and in where I grew up in Australia, it's one season, summer, hot season, and then wet season. So to see that must wow. have been horrible. <laughs> moms have this power. Your mom dreamed that mm -hmm. you would be Miss Universe. She did. And it was, I was about 13 years old. And then she said, honey, I had a dream that you won Miss Universe in a red dress. And I was like, okay, mom. <laughs> but you did. You won Miss <laughs> Universe. <laughs> Great dress. Thank you. It actually draws inspiration from my hometown in the Philippines, which is known for Mount Mayon Volcano, which is a perfect... <laughs> way back mm -hmm. in 1999 <laughs> when you were five years old you yeah. won Little Miss Philippines. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've got to tell you, I, I can't tell how tall you are in this picture, but if you, uh, you are unchanged. I know, I didn't go through like a transformative <laughs> puberty, but like, you had no, I you had no awkward face. Oh, I 
I did. No, I did I because when I was it. eight. <laughs> Warm all year round. <laughs> now, when I was 12, I was five foot eight tall. Mm. No kidding. So I was so awkward, and you would not believe. Like, I used to be good at sports, and then when I was 12 years old, that just went out the window. I was uncoordinated. I'm 44, and I'm 5'8. <laughs> tell me about it. You exaggerate, please. <laughs> is something near and dear to your heart Very. with the uh, education back mm -hmm. home, yeah? Tell us about it. Well, I really believe that education is transformative. It's something that you can give to a child or to a person that can never be taken away from them, mm -hmm. which is why I'm so passionate about it. So I work with an organization called Young Focus Philippines, and they work to give quality access to education for impoverished areas. So these kids without NGOs like that might not ever, you know, experience going to school, experiencing developing a love for learning, which at the end of the day, that's really what can pull up family out of poverty. Mm -hmm. So it's something I'm very passionate about. Well, good for you. Your parents must be remarkable. Yeah, I, I bet they are. And so are you. Congratulations. Great to see you. Thank you so much.